a week 111 ladies and gentlemen all right like troy said i have three randomly selected cards here and depending on time we'll do two two three of them and the first one these are fun little cards from tonight let's talk ace metaphor cards and the first card randomly selected says tell me about a time when you broke someone's trust and what you did to gain it back anybody feel led um i guess i'll answer really fast i don't remember the time i broke someone's trust because trust is a big thing to me and i don't feel like i do i do everything i can to have the trust that I should be given from day one so that it's not broken. But I will say, if I had to bring up a situation, I would say that when it came to me first coming up, before I knew I was pansexual, I came out as gay. And um, I didn't really tell one of my closest friends that I was gay. And I like adored her as my friend and I really loved her, like being in my life because she was older than me. She was like a businesswoman doing a damn thing. But she dead ass just stopped talking to me. Like after she found out from someone else and I didn't tell her, Done. And there was nothing I could do to regain her trust because she just felt like, watching, why didn't you tell me that? She just stopped talking to me. Um, and, and we stopped being friends. And so to this day, I'm like, wow, I still remember that moment. Like, you know, never forgot it. But, you know, I feel like our sexuality is about us and it's not about them. So, you know, if, if it took me time to get to that point, when I value you and I trust you and who you are, sometimes we think in that moment on the other side of the fence that I don't want to put myself out there vulnerable. Vulnerable, to be vulnerable and you, you do what you did and you, and you leave. Like, why'd you leave in the first place? This is my point of why I, should, why I didn't tell you. Why I didn't tell you? But anyway, um, yeah, I said, so I would say that for me. Um, I, I haven't broken anyone's trust and had to gain it back, but I never became friends with her again. I, was sad. I haven't seen her in like over like 12, 13 years. So um, anybody feel led to go next or should I call on somebody? No. Or maybe call on you. Know, somebody say something. Nobody, nobody wants to talk. <laughs> no, wait, what's up, I can't even see uh, Kenyon's face. Um, okay, I'm gonna put on you double the cable first because you're my co-host, and you uh, and um, give me something. Go I more. press that pass button right quick. Pass. There's no so you've never broken anyone's trust. Well, I Man. <laughs> oh God. Okay, maybe it's too deep. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, all right, but Roger, talk to me. Do you have anything when it comes to this particular topic? Um, have you ever broken someone's trust, or did you gain it back? Um, I can't think of anything uh, broken someone's trust. I can't think of an instance where I did that. I can't. No. Okay. All right. No other little story like I had. Nothing different. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna move on. No worries. All right, Kenyon, talk to me. Do you have anything when it comes to this topic about? Um, uh, not right off the top of my head. Um, which is not weird, but I just I just can't think of it. Mm -hmm. um and if it did happen maybe i don't realize how i got it back because i probably didn't get it back <laughs> but, so i'm um, yeah i can't like off the top of my head i can't really think of it, um, it. if we did it we all want to say we sorry right <laughs> if i did it baby i'm sorry <laughs> got it okay we, we just used that moment in time moment of silence mm -hmm. done we're sorry all right Andrew, you can uh, give us a question number two um, and I'm going to four cards of the, of, of the evening. And I like to give the last two cards, but we're going to do the first one of those two now. And that card is describe your relationship with your parent of the opposite sex. How has it influenced the way you treat potential mates? Mm -hmm. And the second one, and actually, you know what? Since this is a same gender loving show, I'm going to edit it a little bit on the fly. And I'm going to say, describe your relationship with your parent of the same sex. And how has it influenced the way you treat potential mates? And the last card that we would do, have you ever blown up, called, or texted repeatedly without getting a response? Someone's phone before? And if so, what was the reason? Now, again, we're going to that first one. Describe right. your relationship with your parent of the same sex. Hey, you can finish it. That's too much at one time. Done. Um, 
Anybody pull up for the first one with the parent thing? Well, um, parent of the same sex. My my dad passed away, so I don't I I, I don't have a relationship with my dad. Um, he passed away when I was twenty. Uh, parent of the opposite sex. Uh, my mother is as, and I love my mom, but she's a very complicated, complex woman. So she's and it's weird because I've always wanted to date my father type, meaning his type of personality. And I typically end up with my mother's personality type. <laughs> um, so it's it's informed me that um, <laughs> uh, that's not necessarily the best thing for me. <laughs> <laughs> you better come on. That was a good answer. Man. Okay, good. All right. Um, anybody else before I, um, I um, mean, I'm still. Be- um, well, for me, I, it's the same with Roger. I didn't have a my same sex relationship with my father because my father passed away when I was three. So I was essentially um, raised by my mother um, for majority of my life until mm-hmm. my stepfather came into the picture when I was about, I don't know, 13, 14, 15. They got married around that time. Um, and the way our relationship is weird because we're too much alike to get along sometimes. Right. Um, but <laughs> as far as how my relationship with her shaped my relationship shaped me in other relationships it was kind of a um kind of double-edged sword thing because I was raised by women I always had um a disdain or complicated relationships with male authority I didn't respect men so in school I could like I a male teacher couldn't tell me what to do it's just like why are you talking to me it was very that I didn't realize that until later on in life when I went through therapy um and um so and with me being a gay male same gender loving it kind of bled over into my relationships because I would see how my mom was she was an independent woman she was raising a child she didn't need a man and she will always you know have these relationships with men and like well I really don't need you if you don't want to be here don't be here that's how that was her stance on the whole male relationship so for me seeing that that's how I was with men like okay I don't look I don't need you okay so we we good over here (laughs) so um so it took a lot of deprogramming in that sense to you know be more open and you know be vulnerable to different things so yeah you got you awesome i'm quite cool uh-huh uh-huh so definitely capable talk to me well from my end um i don't have a relationship with uh, my sperm donor and my father the only, the only person i considered a father um i don't have a relationship either so um it's kind of strange it's then that one's a really long story but uh, when it comes to my mother uh i think now that i have become older and much more wiser and i have proven to her that it, it, that i'm capable of of being who i am um she has calm down and and accepted a little bit more me so there's there's a better relationship we have a a better communication and um best part is that the other day we were having a conversation and she said girl I was like wait what (laughs) okay mom I see you I see you (laughs) so yeah so that that it's it's getting better it's it's getting better you know that's a start Got it. Okay, cool. Awesome. And then last but not least, myself. Um, I am my mom's only son. She has two daughters, my twin sister and my little sister. So my mom and I's relationship is really good because I've always been the man in her life. I've been like her dad. Um, so my mom and I are cool. My dad and I are cool in a great place now. You know, with sexuality and dads a little bit, you know, can go either way, you know. And so we did have a little rocky start at first with it, but we're in a good place now. My dad loves and supports me and whoever I decide to be with being pansexuals, man, woman, whoever it may be, trans. My dad is still like, I support your son. So um, I do appreciate um, that. And it has affected um, my relationships because I, I'm a gentleman and I felt like they weren't together. I didn't see it from mom and dad together, but I had, I do know what love is like because I got love in different ways from both sides. And so because I experienced love in that way, I know how to, I know who I am for myself and what I want, and I know what I can give to other people. And so that's my, you know, that's for me, that's what I think is ultimately great. Like I can show the love 
the love that I was given from different sides, because because having both sides, some parts was missing. So it sort of felt like a puzzle piece on one side, filled in the other. So now they completed me as a person, and I can give that love to other people that I'm with now. Um, and so yeah, so that was our um, metaphoric cards. Uh, first and foremost, thank you guys so much for being a part um, of being here. This has been week uh, 111. Um, so that means we've been officially over two years doing this show uh, every Monday night. So uh, week 111, ladies and gentlemen. And before we leave, of course, um, again, like I said, thank you guys so much for being here on week 111. Thank you guys for making history with us on today. Um, before we leave, we want to just, you know, introduce everybody once again on, on the outro so people know who you are in regards to where they can find you, you know, it's good things. And so before I go with myself and Verse TV, I'm going to go to you, Definitely Capable. Let people know where they find you in case they want to stay connected, you know, and uh, follow more on what you're doing in your, in your wonderful life. Well, in my life at this moment, I am about to sign up with a record label here in Buffalo, which I'm so happy. Well, uh, come on. Gonna be, yeah, Woo-hoo! going to be in, in, in the event management part. So I am so happy about that. But um, if anybody was is trying to find me and look w- for me and trying to get connect with me, um, you can find me through Google. Uh, Google me as definitely capable and all of my social medias will pop up right there. And then TikTok, which I changed my name on TikTok, it's underscore underscore just dot Eric and follow me and let's go through this journey. Awesome. Thank you so much for that. Uh, and the just dot Eric, I got to follow your TikTok because you know, I find TikTok's my thing. All right, cool. Hey, <laughs> I know. I see you. All right, now, um, Kenyon, in the building, let the people know where they can find you on that good stuff. And if you have something that you're working on and you want to just let them know, you know, of course, we know why you're here and what you're working on. But, you know, let them know. Um, you guys got to check out the interview. You'll find out more and more, more. But right now, let the people know just the way they find you and all that good stuff. Get someone to know to keep up with you. Uh, you can find me, Kenyon L. O'Brien, across all social media platforms. I keep it simple, so you can just find me, Kenyon L. O'Brien. Um, look me up there, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Um, what's up? Oh, Bigo. Um, you can look it all up. Yeah, Kenyon L. O'Brien and see all the things that I'm doing. They're all there. Um, pretty simple, all across media situations. Come on now. Just, just like David Gable said, type it in Google. you find everything you need. We're right here. We're right here. All right, awesome, cool. Thank you so much. Okay, now, Mr. Roger, director, you know, Mr. Stordan, out here with these projects that you're working on. Let the people know where to find you on that good stuff. Uh, you can find me on um, Instagram at, at under director Roger. Um, and then you can go uh, see a lot of my shows on my website, which is omeprotv.com, O M E P R O T V.com. And you'll see um, the series that I've done and uh, new shows that are coming. That's right. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out, y'all. And again, my name is at Troy Weeks Music, W-E-E-K-E-S, Troy Weeks Music on everything. And you can find us at Burst TV. You can Google us too on Burst TV and Troy Weeks Music, all of that good stuff. You can find us here. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. This has been week 111. So we'll be back again next week doing what we do best. But y'all stay tuned on our Instagram, stay tuned on our Facebook and our YouTube for our one-on-one interview um, here with the guys and the building to be. So uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in and stay and stay uh stay pressed because we'll see you guys next week. Make sure you tune in, like, comment, share, and subscribe.